everyone how you doing we welcome you all to the hands on impressions and installation experience of the build 14291.1001 microsoft has pushed this build to windows insiders in fast ring this is a redstone build and when i talk about windows insiders in fast ring only those who has a device that shipped with windows 10 mobile are eligible for now in coming weeks the devices that now are getting the windows 10 mobile as upgrade they will also be included but that will take some time maybe one or two weeks so for now we have a lumia 550 in my hand and obviously this is the best device to talk about the uh, builds performance etc because it's the lowest i mean low end device so uh, if you let's start with the installation experience so if you talk about the installation experience as we have earlier said microsoft has sorted out the installation experience now it's quite good very smooth if you talk about how much time it took then uh, for download it took around 25 to 30 minutes for installation and data migration under the 20 to 25 minutes so uh, overall it may be like 50 to 55 minutes for entire process and it was quite smooth for us we did not face any issues now uh, coming to how it feels how the build runs on the 550 it's quite good actually we have not seen any crashes of any sort any sort before uh, this and for this OS or the for the apps which is surprisingly we have seen crashes but we will tell you about a uh, you know visible kind of bug that we had shown in our earlier video as well apart from that it works very fine runs very smoothly we will just show you we will maybe opening some one or two of the apps so surprisingly with the uh, redstone build I have seen that the things are faster it's my own uh, I mean experience if I compare threshold to redstone, I see that things are faster. So like the store opens faster. If I talk about Cortana and Cortana also opens faster. So maybe Microsoft is now optimizing, making it, trying to make it better. And if it is so in these early uh, builds of the fast string, then, then it augurs well for the future. As you can see, I mean, I'm just opening up the apps and they are really working fine we'll try to open as many as possible so that you got an idea about it as i have talked earlier the settings that also looks quite sorted out it's quite fast actually I mean, it runs as if it is running on a high-end or mid-ranger, not on a low-end device, quite fast. We can check the lock screen as well. As you can see, it's quite good actually. Surprisingly, even I'm surprised that it should not be. I mean, usually in earlier first builds, first I mean, some builds earlier builds you expect it to be quite crashing, having lots of issues. But for me, it's good. And obviously, I would not generalize. Many people can face issues. Maybe your experience is quite different from me. But frankly speaking, I have not done a hard reset on this device. And it's still, it is working fine. As you can see, I have opened many of the apps, etc. I have done a bit of UI navigation. But it is all good, actually, at this point in time. Let's open File Explorer. Let's see how it goes. OK. You can see even the storage app that takes less time I mean in showing the whole thing so this is good actually this is good stuff from Microsoft we have to say I mean I could uh, just hope I mean expect that Microsoft brings similar kind of you know optimization in threshold as well it's really good good stuff 
Okay, so now coming to multitasking part, let's see how it multitasks. It resumes fast. Let's see how it goes for settings. It is also fast. Okay, it has moved to landscape. Anyways, let's again bring it to here and let's open maybe maps. And it, it really, uh, the way it resumes is quite impressive. Frankly speaking for Lumia 550. Let's send Kotana to the background and let's check. It's quite fast actually. So as we have said, uh, it really looks that this uh, build is quite, I mean, uh, frankly speaking, it's a fostering build. So it will, it has its own uh, list of known issues that you can go and read at Nokia Power User. But uh, if you talk about optimization, how we feel, it really feels fast. That is a surprise and obviously credit goes to Microsoft that they are keeping the builds optimized and fast even in this even in this early phase, even uh, in the fast ring. So with that, uh, we come to end of this video. I've seen that uh, the build actually works fast. It's the UI navigation is fast and actually even the multitasking is impressive. We can check the browser briefly, maybe. Browser does not bring any changes in Windows. Uh, the same build on Windows 10 has many changes to show, like the extensions, etc. But here you don't see any new stuff. And still, I think the browser can be a bit faster than what it is, a bit more responsive, maybe. Okay, so with uh, the demo of browser, we come to the end of this video now. So finally, uh, we have shared our experience and our first impression of this build with you, uh, even this installation experience. So with this, uh, we say thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for more.